Welcome to Stories of Success about Novak Djokovic. Today we will talk about Serbian tennis players' rivalries. Novak Djokovic, born the 22nd of May 1987, is a Serbian professional tennis player. He is currently ranked as world number one by the Association of Tennis Professionals. He has won 86 ATP singles titles, including a record 37 Masters events. He won his first Grand Slam title at the 2008 Australian Open. In 2011, he won three out of four majors and a then-season record of five Masters events, and became the best player in men's tennis. Djokovic had another career year in 2015, reaching 15 consecutive finals, including all four major finals and eight Masters finals, winning three majors and a season record of six Masters events as well as the ATP finals. The following year, he won the 2016 French Open to complete the first and only non-calendar year Grand Slam in the Open era and his first career Grand Slam. He became the first man since Rod Lava in 1969 to hold all four major titles at once and the only one in history to do so on three different surfaces. Djokovic has won the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year award four times. He is also a recipient of the Order of Saint Sava and Order of Karadord Star. Djokovic led the Serbian national team to their first Davis Cup title in 2010. He won the bronze medal for Serbia at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. In August 2020, he and Vasek Paspizil announced the formation of the Professional Tennis Players Association as the first player-only association in tennis. Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal have met 58 times, including in all four Grand Slam finals. The two share the record for the longest Grand Slam final match ever played, at the 2012 Australian Open final. They have played a joint record 17 Grand Slam matches and 9 Grand Slam tournament finals. They are tied on grass 2-2. Jock Serbian leads on hard courts 20-7, while Nadal leads on clay 19-8. At the 2012 Monte Carlo Rolex Masters in April, Nadal finally beat Djokovic for the first time since November 2010. They had met in seven finals from January 2011 to January 2012, all of which Djokovic won. Nadal again defeated Djokovic in the final of the Rome Masters tournament. At the 2012 French Open, Djokovic faced Nadal in the final. For the second time in tennis history, two tennis players played four consecutive Grand Slams finals against each other. They also became the only players in history, except for Venus and Serena Williams, to have faced the same opponent in the final of each of the four different Grand Slam events. Nadal eventually won in four sets after multiple rain delays that forced the final to be concluded on the following Monday afternoon. In 2013, Djokovic defeated Nadal in straight sets in the final of the Monte Carlo Masters to clinch his first title in Monte Carlo. At the 2013 French Open semi-final, Nadal defeated Jock Serbian to up his record to 20-15 against him. On 9 September 2013, Djokovic lost to Nadal in the 2013 US Open final in four sets. In 2014, they played in the 2014 French Open final, with Jock Norvi again attempting to capture the career Grand Slam. Nadal won in four sets to win the French Open for the ninth time. At the 2019 Australian Open, Djokovic defeated Nadal in straight sets in the final. At the 2020 French Open, Nadal defeated Djokovic in straight sets in the final. At the 2021 French Open, Djokovic beat Nadal in the semi-final in four sets. In doing so, he became the first player to have beaten Nadal twice at the French Open. Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer have played a joint record 17 Grand Slam matches. The Serbian leads on hard courts 20-18 as well as grass 3-1 whereas they are split 4-4 on clay. 
The two have met five years in a row at the US Open with Federer triumphant in their first three encounters, while their last two meetings were five set matches. The two would also meet in the 2016 Australian Open semi-finals, where Djokovic played virtually flawless tennis in the first two sets to eventually claim a four-set victory en route to capturing a record sixth Australian Open and his 11th Grand Slam title. At the 2019 Wimbledon Championships, Djokovic and Federer met for a third time in Wimbledon final where Djokovic prevailed in five sets in an almost five-hour match. The two would meet for a last time in the 2020 Australian Open semi-finals, Djokovic won in straight sets. Djokovic leads 5-1 on clay, 20-8 on hard courts, and Murray leads 2-0 on grass. The pair have met 19 times in finals, with Djokovic leading 11-8. Their most notable match in this category was a three-set thriller at the final of the 2012 Shanghai Masters. They have also met in seven Grand Slam tournament finals, the 2011 Australian Open, the 2012 US Open and the 2013 Australian Open. Djokovic and Murray also played an almost five-hour-long semi-final match in the 2012 Australian Open, which Djokovic won 7-5 in the fifth set after Murray led two sets to one. The two met in the final of the 2013 Wimbledon Championships, where second seed Murray won in straight sets. At the 2016 Australian Open final, in a rematch of the previous final, Jock Norvi won in three sets and captured his sixth Australian Open title. Djokovic and Vavrinka have met 25 times with Djokovic leading 19-6. The two have contested numerous close matches, including four five-setters at Grand Slam level. They have played three consecutive Australian Open years, each match going to five sets, and a five-setter in the US Open. Djokovic and Songa have met 23 times, with Djokovic leading 17-6. Their first meeting was in the final of the 2008 Australian Open. They defeated the top two players, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal in their respective semi-finals in straight sets. They met again at the 2010 Australian Open in the quarter-finals, with Songa winning in five sets. The pair met again in the semi-final at Wimbledon in 2011, with the winner advancing to his first Wimbledon final. They were drawn in the same pool for the 2012 ATP Finals. Jock Norby defeated Songa in his first round robin matches. Their most recent Grand Slam tournament meeting was in the second round of the 2019 Australian Open. Djokovic defeated Songa in straight sets. Djokovic and Del Potro have met 20 times with Djokovic leading 16-4. Jock Norby won their first four meetings before Del Potro won their bronze medal match at the 2012 Summer Olympics in straight sets. In 2013, Jock Norvi won two of the most important matches between them to date, an epic five-setter at the 2013 Wimbledon Championships semi-finals which was the longest Wimbledon semi-final at the time. In the same year, Del Poto defeated Djokovic en route to his second Masters final, at the 2013 Indian Wells Masters, where he lost to Nadal. Djokovic vs Nishikori Djokovic and Nishikori have met 20 times with Djokovic leading 18-2. They have met seven times in Grand Slam matches with Djokovic leading 6-1. In the 2014 US Open semi-finals, Nishikori defeated Djokovic en route to his first Grand Slam final. This was a story of success about Novak Djokovic's rivalries. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and join us for more.